morning all, it's Ian here from the Sports Card Side Hustle and I wanted to show you results of my auction that closed out Sunday evening, February 5th and some of the results of those uh, completed transactions that you know I carried out over a couple months from purchase to grading to sale and why I recommend buying raw, why buying raw works. This topic comes up all the time. People think I'm crazy for doing it, that I focus almost completely on raw and ungraded. But I wanted to show you the results and why I recommend it, why it works. So these all close out on a Sunday night, February 5th. Like I said, I have all my auctions close out on a Sunday evening when people are home at the couch to uh, make those final decisions on cards because that's what all the data shows me and algorithms. Those are when best sales happen. And I have most of them all run from for 10 days from the previous Thursday to cover two weekends because the data also shows that's where you get your best dollar. I will run some for seven days if I need them turn around faster. I didn't get them by the previous Thursday. I got them on a Friday or Saturday they arrived. Um, I might do a seven day auction and now and then a five day auction, but it's almost always a 10 day auction unless I made a mistake or press something wrong in the listing, which I do now and then. But let me show you the results starting with this 1987 Michael Jordan second year sticker, this Fleer sticker, the purchase and um, and the results, right? So getting this card, uh, purchasing it on December 19th, December 22nd, 7456 is what I paid. I was fortunate with the grade, but submitted for grading, turned it around, $40 grading, sold it for 456 that's almost a 400 dollar margin minus the grading so we're around down in the 350 range on a 74 dollar purchase right so a pretty good turnaround when the grade goes well there the second card uh this one i purchased on december 7th december 22 so i had it about a full two months with grading uh, i believe this one i had to go for the uh it was $50 grading at the time I submitted the regular grading. So $6.99, what was the result? Seven or nine weeks later maybe, because it was like two months in a day. $15.30, so from $6.99 to $15.30, I'll take that. And that was a nine, it wasn't a 10. It was a modern card, but it's a Kaboom. I love Kabooms and I love the ratios and the margins. Third card, another Kaboom, not as crazy as far as turnaround price but just showing you what i'm getting these are all from this sunday night card i bought it december 8th uh 350 so i was, i think this is about an eight week turnaround sold it february 5th 564 after grading because this one wasn't as high value or predicted to be as high value as the Mahomes. i think i that it was value plus if I remember right, so forty dollar grading because I don't I want to be transparent. Figure that in and figure out in all the costs. Steph Curry. Now I paid at a um, good price for this one because the photo looked good to me. Photo looked like good centering. Couldn't see anything good. Um, authenticity guaranteed. Yeah, yada yada. So, um, but I want to actually show you this one because it was one that didn't really go my way or didn't work out ideally. And when you figure that in, how did it go with your lower grades as well? I don't want to just show you my 10. No, the, the previous one wasn't a 10 either. It was a 9. But the Jordan was definitely higher grade than expected at 8.5 on those tough to grade stickers. Now, here's one that graded lower than I thought. I paid $700. you will see in the listing, my listing, that closed out February 5th. It only graded at 7.5. And I turned it around at 787. Um, and that was... Uh, on the $50 grading at the time. So that was a turnaround from December 22nd to February 5th, about six weeks, and not much profit. But that's when one goes wrong, and I didn't do well on the grading. I still broke even, basically. So next one, um, I had a Hung Min Sun. He's a star for soccer, for those of you that aren't soccer fans or soccer collectors. But these manga cards, I was picking them up. I love the new inserts. I like high-end inserts and short print inserts people know. Paid $202.50 when it was near its peak or hotter for Raw. Got it on December 8th, peak of the World Cup, middle of the World Cup. As he's playing and doing well for Korea. Graded it. It did get a 10, turned around at 500. Two months. All right. Um, here's a DAC. Uh, Dak wasn't peaking by any means. He was maybe coming back from injury, trying to get in the game. Uh, but 
kabooms and those high-end inserts. Like I said, people love them. They collect them, and there's definitely plenty of Cowboys fans out there. So I got this one December 20th. Didn't have it a long time, real long time. Got it in for grading. Value plus $40 grading. Paid $150. Turn that around at $305 in six weeks. Okay, so of, of all those cards that I just showed you, that those are six that I was able to turn around in my auction. I have more doing that this week. That's basically how I'm running them every week is I get buy them, organize them, get them in for grading every two weeks, organize them by the category they belong in best for most efficiency um, without getting charged too much. So I'm paying anywhere from under $20 a card for grading to maximum up to 75 right now if it's a really high-end card um, in the category between 1000 and 2000 So I want to show you that. Those are six cards from my auction. I just captured the sale price that I paid in eBay, the sale record, and, and that, or my purchase price, what the seller got for the sale price. And then my sale in auction about six to eight, week, eight weeks later, February 5th, and how those closed out on this Sunday. So thanks for listening. Wanted to show you why I buy raw, make that recommendation, call it a top, top hustle play of the week or top hustle tip. And please follow me, subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions, why you disagree with it, why you've had any trouble with grading or buying raw and selling. You know, if you have any recommendations or lesson learned, let's keep helping each other in the community and have a great week, all. Thank you.